Well, we have a bit of breaking and strange news out the city of Detroit, and that is the Detroit Lions have made a somewhat surprising roster move when it comes to their 53-man roster. I can only explain this as weird to say the least, but this is coming from Detroit Lions Twitter. Shout out to my guys Ryan and Mr. Poole says, Detroit Lions roster moves. They waived fullback Jason Cabenda, signed kicker Michael Badgley from the practice squad to the active roster, released defensive lineman Chris Jones from the practice squad, and signed offensive lineman Michael Schofield to the practice squad. On nowhere on here do we see that that Bruce Irvin has been signed to the 53-man roster. And what in the world happened as to why we waived Jason Cabinda? We just, we wasted a spot, a uh, elevation from the injured reserve. So I'm assuming that we, even though when, when C.J. Gardner-Johnson, he's already come back, James Houston, he's already been elevated. So we must not care about anybody else that's on IR. I didn't look to see who's left because everybody that was on IR, except Aleem McNeil, he's the last one that we probably, and he can be activated after this game coming up against the Dallas Cowboys. But what in the world, we? why would we waive Jason Cabinda? I don't think he has any point on this team. We just activated him yesterday to the active roster we waived him which means he has to clear waivers to come back for us to be able to come back for him to be able to come back then we would have to sign him to the practice squad so my guess is that they okay so they let, let's look at this again let's look at this again so we knew that the Michael Badgley situation was ha was happening because the Detroit Lions do not have a kicker on their roster on their 53-man roster so we knew that that had to happen the um Release of Chris Smith from the practice squad made room for Michael Schofield on the practice squad, but waving Jason Cabinda. Okay, but we still have one spot left. We have one spot remaining, if I understand this correctly, on the 53 man roster because waving Jason Cabinda created a spot for. Uh, Michael Badgley. So we still have the one spot from yesterday that wasn't filled. So I would assume that somebody is coming up from the practice squad. It's probably going to be Bruce Irvin. Maybe the Detroit Lions are not going to even chance that because, again, after this last elevation, he can stay on the practice squad. If somebody tries to poach him, the Lions cannot protect him because well, no, that's not true. They would have to wait. They would have to bring him to the active 53-man roster. Maybe they they don't want to take that chance. And this is all making Bruce Irvin uh, room for Bruce Irvin. But what in the actual world, man? Jason Cabinda, really, he should have never made the 53-man roster. And that's just certified real. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, man. A bit of weird breaking news that the Detroit Lions have waived fullback Jason Cabinda a day after putting him on the 53-man roster. This has to be a coordinated move somewhere, but that just tells you that Jason Cabinda's time is done. I mean, we had Malcolm Rodriguez playing fullback. We saw Sam Laporta get carries. So the fullback, I mean, if you can have a linebacker play fullback, then what is the purpose of a fullback, really? You got Kyle Check in San Francisco, and then you have uh, the dude for the Green Bay Packers, and, and then ham for the minnesota vikings there's not a lot of big time fullbacks in the league and the the fullbacks that actually play in the league are big time if you're either non-existent or you're big time and jason Cabenda was non-existent don't even know why he was on the roster to begin with but my guess is they're making room for something obviously a, a coordinating move is going to happen because again we had one spot if i remember correctly going and from yesterday, we had one spot. I keep looking at my phone to see if something else happened. We had one spot left. Michael Badgley kind of we knew that was going to happen. So waving Jason Cabinda is making room for something. And we'll bring you that news as soon as it happened. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.